If you want to make money from raising pigs, you need to know when to send your pigs to the processor. But how much should your pigs weigh before you send them to processing? In this video, we'll demonstrate how to move your pigs to a corral, how to weigh pigs on a livestock scale, and how to sort pigs for processing. If you don't have a corral or a scale, don't worry. We'll also show you an alternative method to estimate pig weights without a scale. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see just how much money we made from raising these pigs. Hi, I'm Christine Hernandez, Livestock Manager here at Heifer USA. I've been raising pigs on pasture for six years, and today I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step process of how we weigh our pigs raised out on pasture. To weigh our batches of pigs, we use an old cattle corral that we have here on the ranch. It's a larger space, so we can hold all of our pigs in here at one time. We typically raise batches anywhere from 100 to 150 pigs. We have different sections and different quadrants within the corral where we can put the pigs and have them separated after we weigh them. Before we bring our batch of pigs to the corral, we will go ahead and bring everything we need to the corral. That will include our platform scale with the monitor. We'll bring out our clipboard with our record keeping sheet on it. Make sure you have a pen and maybe some extra pens. We bring the spray line animal safe spray paint. And then we also bring a few handling aids. So we bring our rattle can, and then we bring a pig sorting board. Since we raise our pigs out in our forested paddocks, we need a good way to bring our pigs to the corral. With this specific corral, we do have a nice barbed wire alley that is already set up so we can just run the pigs right down there. In our different locations, or if you don't already have an alley, it's very easy to use the temporary wire. So you can use poly wire and temporary posts to set up a nice alley to get your pigs from their paddock to the corral. When we set up a temporary alley, I like to make it about 15 feet wide. That way, a few pigs can travel next to each other as they're making their way down the alley, but it doesn't allow too much space for them to wander around or turn around and try and go back to their paddock. This is where your low stress handling aids will come in very handy. So that rattle can or that sorting board you can use in this situation. You want to do your very best to make sure that you don't have one or two pigs left behind in the paddock once everyone else has moved on because trying to move just a few pigs is a lot more difficult than trying to move a batch of 100 pigs at the same time. If we're weighing them in the winter time, we want to weigh them a little bit later in the day so that the sun will come up and it's a little bit warmer outside. If it's the summertime, we will get out there and weigh those pigs very first thing in the morning so we can have everyone weighed, sorted, and in their designated areas before it gets too hot during the day. Once we have the pig securely into the corral, all the rest of the pigs that are waiting to be weighed, we will start pushing a small group of them into our crowding pen that's connected to the alley and onto the scale, and then they'll get sorted in their two groups. We have a target weight for our finished pigs to be around 300 pounds to 320 pounds. And the reason why we are going for that target is that it allows for a very nice finished pig. So you get good meat quality and you get good yield from that pig carcass. And then once a pig gets over that 300 pounds, 320 pounds, they actually just start putting on a whole bunch of fat and they're not converting their feed to that muscle or to that meat. Before we get to our scale, we have a sliding gate that we can use so that it only allows one pig through to the scale at a time. Once we have one pig through the slide gate, it's someone's job to help encourage that pig forward along this shorter curving alley, and that puts them right onto our platform scale. Once the pig is on this scale with all four feet, it's another person's job to read our monitor we have it set to auto, so it will kick out that pig's weight very fast. And so we record their weight onto our record sheet, and then depending on what their weight is, depends on how they get marked. If they are at or near that target weight, then I will spray paint their weight along their back, and they will actually go into one quadrant of our corral. In that case, we will just pull our sorting board out of the way, and that pig can continue forward. If the pig is too small, 
They actually just get a simple salad line over their rump. We'll just simply open this gate and let the pig over here with the pigs that will be staying longer. Having a platform scale is a very expensive input for any farm. And so if you are just wanting to get a good estimate of how much your pigs weigh, then you can go ahead and just use some fabric tape and you'll be taking two measurements off of the pig. One would be their girth, so around their body, just behind their front legs, and then you'd be doing their length. So from the base of their ears all the way down to their tail, and then you'd put it into an equation and that will give you a good estimate of their live weight. This pig's heart girth was 47 inches. Its body length was 49 inches. The estimated live weight for this specific pig would be 270 pounds. So we are getting very close to our target weight and getting ready to go to processing. If you're enjoying this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment below to let us know. The process of weighing pigs can be a very big task. So on the days that we're going to weigh our pigs, I ensure that we don't have anything else pressing to do. Depending on the weather and our pigs' attitudes and our attitudes, it may take us anywhere from an hour to weigh them to a couple of hours. You can use those low stress handling aids to help encourage the pigs through the corral. And if you are losing your patience with the pigs, it's always okay to go and to take a break, cool down, and then come back to the process of weighing your pigs. Now that all of the pigs have been weighed, we can check over our record sheet and count how many pigs are at that target weight. That way we can make sure that we send the allotted number of pigs to the processing plant. So all of those pigs that have met the target weight are in one quadrant of the corral. If we are off by a few, so if we need to pick a few of our smaller pigs, then we can pick the bigger ones from this group and send them over to those ones going to processing. On the other hand, if we have too many pigs at that target weight, we can go through and easily visualize who needs to come back and stay at the ranch. The reason why we bring the pigs back into this quadrant is because once everyone is weighed and sorted, these pigs will easily go back through that quadrant and file that alley. The pigs like to go back in the direction that they came from, so we can just open those gates and the pigs will lead themselves back to their paddock. Now that we only have the pigs in the corral that are ready to go to processing, they're only staying in the corral for a few days. We'll open up the gate so that pigs have access to the entire corral and have plenty of space. They do have full access to fresh, clean water. I will bring in one or two feeders for them to ensure that everyone has full bellies and enough feed space to last them the weekend. If it's cold outside, I will bring them a bale of hay. If it's warm outside, I'll ensure that they have plenty of shade. The pigs that made their way back to their paddock, they will stay there typically two to three weeks. We will bring them back to the corral the Friday before they get processed. We will re-weigh everyone so that we have their live weight. They will also stay in the corral for the weekend, get loaded up on that Sunday and process that following Monday. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the payout from pig processing. We sent 120 pigs to the processor in two batches. Our minimum live weight was 291 pounds and our maximum live weight was 360 pounds. The average live weight was 317 pounds, which falls on the higher end of our ideal weight range of 300 to 320 pounds. The total live weight of this batch was 38,066 pounds. At the processing facility, the total hanging weight of this batch was 25,752 pounds. That's about a 68% yield from the total live weight, which is typical for pastured pigs. Overall, the total payout for this batch of 120 pastured pigs was $54,079.20. If you want to invest in pastured pigs, keep learning about pork production with Heifer USA. Check out this video for a complete guide to moving pigs on pasture or this one, where Christine demonstrates her favorite features of the Osborne Bulk Pig Feeder.